So you're thinking about moving to Washington, D.C., and I'm willing to bet my last dollar that you've heard of a neighborhood called DuPont Circle. Yes, I know you have because it's very popular. Well, that's the neighborhood we're going to be touring today. And you're probably wondering if it's all that is cracked up to be. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to tour the neighborhood, look at a few different amenities, see what the lifestyle is like. If you were to live here, if you were to purchase real estate here, we're also going to look at a few homes so you can see what fits your budget in case you wanted to buy real estate in DuPont Circle. And then finally, I'm going to let you be the judge of if DuPont Circle lives up to its reputation. Let's go. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to learn every single thing about living in the Washington DC metro area, you've come to the right place. So feel free to subscribe below. My name is Bashir and our team gets calls, emails, texts, Zoom calls every single day from people just like you looking to make a move to the Washington DC metro area. So whether you're moving in 10, 100, even if it's a thousand days, feel free to reach out, give us a call, text or email. Feel free to also schedule a Zoom call. All contact details are in the description below. So right now we're in this main traffic circle in the middle of DuPont Circle. This is the circle that connects the main parts of DuPont Circle, which is Connecticut Avenue, 17th Street and 18th Street. That's where you have all the amazing amenities that makes up the neighborhood, right? And to my left over here is Massachusetts Avenue. That's where you have the embassy row. That's where all the international embassies are for many different countries. So just, uh, this is kind of like an international neighborhood. It's a very popular neighborhood. And uh, I have to make this video quick, by the way, because it's gonna rain in about 10 minutes. Uh, but you can just see, this is just a, a park that people come out to for leisure, right? To walk their dogs, to, you know, people watch if you please. And we have this amazing waterfall behind me right here. As the spring season starts to approach, we can see all the trees starting to come out. Well, not the trees, the leaves starting to come out. And, uh, you know, it's just a, beautiful lush green space and I don't come to this circle very often but I, I drive by it at least I drive around it at least uh, three to five times a week and I'm just realizing that uh, these these boards over here are actually chess boards and uh, you know the chess boards are built into the the uh, the tables and you can come out here and play chess if you have a uh, if you're good at it number one and if you have a super high IQ more than people like <laughs> myself you know, you can come out here and play chess with, uh, with your friends. An awesome outdoor space to hang out and get some fresh air. But without any further ado, let's deep dive into the neighborhood, the amenities, and also real estate. But before we do that, I just want to warn you ahead of time. If you move to D.C. and you're going to drive in this traffic circle, it's one of the most confusing circles to drive in at first because it's very easy to misconstrue if the green light is your light and if the red light is your light. When you move to DC, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's get this day started. So let's begin the tour of DuPont Circle by touring some outdoor and green space. This is the DuPont Circle Park with a big circular fountain right in the middle of a grassy park area surrounded by benches and shady trees. It's just a cool spot where people gather to relax, read a book, or just soak in the vibe of the city while enjoying some peace and quiet. Located just a half mile away is the DuPont Circle Metro Station located on the intersection of Q Street and Connecticut Avenue Northwest. Now this station sees a lot of traffic Traffic, so it can get quite hectic, especially during rush hour. But hey, that's just the part of the DC experience. So you're gonna find the majority of the amenities of DuPont Circle on three main streets, which is 18th Street Northwest, 17th Street Northwest, and Connecticut Avenue Northwest, which we're on right now. There's lots of cool stuff to check out. First off, you've got tons of dining options from cozy cafes to fancy restaurants, serving up all kinds of cuisines, whether you're craving Italian, Thai or just a good old fashioned burger, DuPont's got you covered. Then there's the shopping scene. You'll find everything from quirky boutiques to high end stores. So, whether you're hunting for unique souvenirs or treating yourself to something special, you're sure to find it here. And let's not forget the uh, nightlife. DuPont Circle 
lights up after dark with bars, clubs, and lounges catering to all tastes. Whether you're into cocktails, live music, or just hitting the dance floor, you'll be sure to find a spot to let loose and just have a good time. Now, DuPont Circle also has a robust cultural scene. It has museums, art galleries, and theaters. So if you're in the mood for a bit of history, some thought-provoking art, or just a night out at a theater, you would not be disappointed. With DuPont Circle's central location, you're never too far from all the other awesome stuff DC has to offer. So yeah, DuPont Circle's got a little bit of something for everyone. So enjoy the rest of the tour of DuPont Circle's amenities and I'll catch you at the first property. Alrighty, so let's go take a look at the first property of the day. It's a condominium, a one bed, one bath, 650 square feet condo. And we are on 21st Street. So right behind these row of houses is Connecticut Avenue. One of the main avenues of DuPont Circle where you have a lot of amenities. And I would say this is not the most parking friendly side of town. So I would advise if you don't want to walk, get a scooter or a bike because unless you had a house a row house like these behind me and it had some kind of parking in the back uh parking around this side of town is going to be very tough because it did take me a while to find parking uh, but just look at the ar architecture of these homes i mean this is also one of the things dupont circle is known for they have very fine pieces of real estate so this is the building we're going to be looking at today uh the one bedroom one bath condo going for 580,000. It only has $180 a month HOA fee, which is really low. And this is, that's because this is a new construction property. And in these new construction properties, the maintenance is really low and there's not a lot of monthly overhead. And also they built these um, units in a very energy efficient manner. So that's why the HOA fees are really low, 180. That's not bad at all for DC, I've seen five six a thousand even two thousand dollar hoa fees but those usually usually come with some kind of amenities but this one is a 10 unit new construction a new development building so let's go in and check it out okay so this is a ground floor unit so this unit is on the first floor and uh, right as we walk in we have the living area which i would assume would be right here and then this you have your island right there recessed lighting throughout you have the stove gas stove refrigerator decent amount of storage space cabinet space I guess you would put stuff like pictures right there and things like that. We have this little office slash work area. And I really like the floors in this unit. They have these oak floors. So This is the bedroom. Speakers in the ceiling. That's the bathroom. Washer dry in unit. We have this more closet space right here.
out of the shower. This tile. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this unit. And the systems, the HVAC, and the water heater. Okay, so let me know in the comments down below, are you a fan of ground floor, lower level units like this one? I know a lot of people like them because they, they might not have to carry groceries or, you know, just stuff up three, four, five flight of steps in a building with no elevator. And some folks just don't like ground floor units because they just don't want to be on the ground floor. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let me know what you think and let's head over to the next property. head to property number two i just admire these trees and plants in front of everyone's yard and uh the next one we're going to be looking at is also a one bedroom it's slightly bigger it's a two level condo as you can see majority of the homes we're going to be looking at are actually condos and uh, you know because hey that's just the that's just the lifestyle in this neighborhood this one does come with a parking space so that's a plus it's on a quiet one-way street as you can see, residents are parked out here on the street. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay, so as you walk in, we have a good amount of storage space. So, we have our living area, lots of natural sunlight. So this is a different vibe from the first one we looked at. As we can see, this one is, there's still a lot of original touches. So we have these original hardwood floors, which I would assume was just refinished for the sale of this pro I don't even think they were finished. They're probably just been kept up in great shape. And then, uh, you know, we have these older windows, which last a long time if they're, you know, they've been cared for properly. So as we can see, you can see the street. This is Cochrane Street. They were on 21st and Cochrane. So you have that nice view. And then we have this entire living area, fireplace. You have the crown molding. Then we have this breakfast bar right here. We head into the kitchen. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these in a while. You never know what you'll see when you come to these properties. Dishwasher, I mean, so, I mean, this is, you know, your older, older style appliances. Got the refrigerator. It seems like this is an attic. We've got the pantry right here. How big is this? Not too bad. We got upstairs, we got the sun skylight. takes us to the bedroom and the bathroom. So it's a washer dryer. Windows allow for a lot of natural sunlight as well. Got this huge walk-in closet. There we have it, the bedroom. Sorry, the bed. <laughs> Fits quite nicely. It allows for lamp stands. Of 
this is for people who really appreciate, you know, original architecture, you know. <laughs> We've got another <laughs> another one of these. I don't know. Why don't they just take this out? I mean, what purpose does this serve? I guess it just reminds you of the good old good old days, huh? I don't think that works. So there we go. So what do you think about this condo? I think it's pretty cool. It's a condo, but it kind of lives uh, like a mini townhouse. So you have two levels, the living room on the main level, and then the bedroom is upstairs away from you know everything. So you know how in traditional one level condos, it's everything on one level. So the two bedrooms on, on one level along with the living room, and there's really no separation. So if you had friends or family over and you're you know, you're sick of everybody. You just wanted to go go upstairs. Hey, you can just head up there and go to your private oasis and you can just leave the family and friends down here to, you know, do the thing. But um, let's head over to the third and final condo, which I'm really excited to tour and show you as well. It's a two point five million dollar luxury condo on P Street. Let's head over and take a look. Okay, so here we are. Now this is actually a condo. It looks like a house, but it's actually a condo. Now, a few observations. <laughs> so this is how you know you're dealing with luxury because when I open that door, that door, it's like it weighed a hundred pounds. It is extremely heavy. So anyway, here we are. So just uh, a little bit about this property. This property was built in 1890. Originally, it was a townhouse, but then it was broken into, split into seven different units and sold off as condos in 2016. So went through a full renovation, as you can see. Uh, but however, they left these original windows and, and window uh, treatments to preserve the original character of the building, right? So we see we have hardwood floors. We've got the fireplaces. I love the crown moldings all around. Sometimes you just have to appreciate, you know, finishes from the early 1900s, late 1800s. And then we have these pocket doors, which gives you that separation of dining and, and uh, you know, your social area, right? So really great space for hosting and entertaining. I have a second set of pocket doors right here. So we can really appreciate the the finishes in this unit we have speakers in the ceilings recess lighting throughout we have additional space on the island for a host and guest they've got the tv right there tons of cabinet space it's got the pantry We have this additional living area right here. We've got a powder room. Here and then we've got two car parking. 
outside, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, this is like a second entertainment area. Head outside. <clears throat> there you have your parking. Two parking spaces. This is a massive kitchen. Also appreciate these original, original banisters. Really cool stuff. Okay, let's head upstairs. And this is where we have all four bedrooms. We have recessed lighting throughout. We'll start all the way at the end and work our way back up. So this wall right here would be a good place to display any kind of, uh, you know, arts that you may have if you're into that stuff. And let's check out the first bedroom. Lots of space. And this home is 20 feet wide with over 11 foot ceilings. Goes a vanity, decent sized bathroom with the shower and then of course we have the sliding doors which i can't get the oh there we go oh you gotta push that thing for the handle to come out and uh there we go get your privacy and these doors are Super heavy. Got closet space. Then we have the main bathroom and the hallway. Got the stone. These are just the systems, not much to see there. It's the second bedroom number two of four. It's a setup as an office, but can be definitely utilized as a bedroom. And it's really quiet in here. We're not too far from 17th Street. I just love how quiet it is in this in this unit. Very quiet. Washer dryer. Then we have bedroom number three. closet and then we have the master bedroom you're in for a treat We've got the huge walk-in closet And 
Not sure. I doubt that fireplace still works, but uh, I guess they just left that for the aesthetic. Tons of natural light. Have the bathroom. It's just a shower, no tub. Uh, this would have been really complete with with a shower and a tub, but hey, I guess there's no space to accommodate that. So we get this view of uh, P Street. And I'm guessing this is the toilet. Yep. These are really quality, quality doors. Yeah, this is not what you see in a traditional six, seven hundred thousand dollar home, even a million. Some expensive doors right there. Yeah. So there are so many things about this property to appreciate. And what I appreciate the most, and which is also my favorite part of the property is actually this first living room area, right? Uh, I just love the, the whole vibe of it. You have the, you know, these windows for a lot of natural light coming in. You also have the gas fireplace right here. You have the TV over there where you can just sit right here and just, you know, relax with your spouse or family friends and just turn the TV on, watch a good show. You also have this amazing, this huge living, uh, sorry, this huge dining area. And then you also, which sits like, uh, I think a one, two, three, one, two, three, my math is three, six, eight people have, you have these amazing pocket doors. You also have this large kitchen island, you know, the kitchen, you can great space for entertaining, hosting family events and gatherings. And then you also have the secondary living area, right? And then you have your parking outside, which was your favorite part of the property. And don't forget about that awesome bedroom upstairs the, the uh, master bedroom so many things it's hard to pick but for me the living room, the primary living room over there takes the win so that concludes the tour of dupont circle for today hope you enjoyed it hope it was insightful and remember if you're thinking about moving to dc purchasing a home in dc or even selling a home in the dc metro area always feel free to reach out all contact details are in the description below i'm exhausted i'm gonna grab me a bite to eat and until next time i'll see you in the next neighborhood